Well, now every laptop computer and pretty soon every phone is a printing press and a broadcasting station, television, radio broadcasting station, a, a, a political organizing device, a, a marketplace, a place where community can happen, a game. So that's, I mean, we're seeing that happen all right now. What does it add to journalism? Of course, which of us would rather have a page that they can't click on and see the video? Uh, there's, there are, are undeniable advantages to having your choice of media rather than being limited to what you can print on a page or what you can um, uh, broadcast during a limited period of time. So there's huge advantages and lots of things every, every day from Twitter to, to widgets to flash video arise that can be used for journalism, for getting the news out and for checking the veracity of the news. So I would, I would say the other way around. I would say that if you're going to be a journalist in the 21st century, you need to not only know about managing online communities of your readers and listening to them, being in conversation with them, but how, at, if you don't know how to make Flash, at least you need to know how to embed, embed a Flash widget in a blog post, and you ought to know how to do a blog post, and use a wiki, and use RSS, and make widgets. But more than that, I think you need to recognize a new medium that could be put to the purposes of journalism, and, and do that. Uh, we have this wonderful platform that enables people to do for free what people with all the money in the world couldn't do just a few years ago. None of the networks, television networks in the world, could have done YouTube 10 years ago.